Let's um, let's make it so that when we run across the floor, um, the floor is going to change color. So let's go to our double click on our floor, go into our floors node map, and let's do an if collide here. So if we collide, um, and you know what? Let's try and use uh, this this collision here if the if possible. So we'll say um, if collide if collide with the main character. Um, let's go ahead and let's do uh, let's change the color. So let's set color, and then we're also going to uh, spawn. We're going to get a spawn node out, and we're going to spawn our replacement, and then we're going to remove the the current the current uh, cube that's in there. So let's go ahead and let's do collide set the color and spawn and then as soon as we spawn the second we spawn we want it to remove and let's make sure we get it we get our floor replacement for our spawn so we're going to select floor replacement here we're going to assign it oh and real quick make sure you select your set color node and change the color that it's being set to to tangerine because i forgot to do that okay very good all right let's just see if this works so i'm going to press play Okay, cool. So now as we slide across the floor, you can see that the color is changing, which is really great. It's really cool. Um, and this is what we want. Now the question is, is how do we make it so that once we color all of the squares, it's going to send us, uh, it's going to send us to the next level, or we're going to beat the game, or maybe we get coin rewards or something. So that's the next challenge. And let's, let's do that right now. So I'm going to exit out of the preview. Go over here to our main character, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this with health and damage. So we're going to do uh, if collide, if collide, and um, and you know what? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's do if collide. Let's do a health, and let's do damage. Okay, great. And let's get damage out. Okay, cool. Let's do health, and then we need an event. We're gonna need an event here, so let's trigger an event. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm gonna hook this up, so enable the if collide. We'll go ahead and we'll increase the scale of this if collide uh, by a little bit. So let's do, and this, this one is 1.4, let's set this scale to 1.5. For each the X, Y, and Z. Okay, great. And then we want to make sure the affected asset is the floor. And then we want to apply one damage. And we want to have a health of about 20 here. And then once we are defeated, we want to trigger a menu jump. Now to uh, and we're gonna call this win. Or this is the win event. Um, so now let's go over to our mind map and you can see we've got a little win uh, output here. So what we need to do is we're gonna get another UI screen here and we're gonna hook this up. So we're gonna go here into the UI. We're gonna grab a little default font and say you win. Oops, I accidentally deleted it. You win, exclamation point. Go ahead and put this up here and let's make let's go down over here to our tools go to the font editor let's make the font just a little bit bigger i'm going to do 80 size font for this okay cool so it's a little bit more visible next um, i'm going to get a navigation button and i'm going to look on my computer for a play button let's see here if i got one that we can use really quickly play button okay here we go I got one alright so drop this one in as an image here right there and then we're gonna just keep the function as default and we're gonna call this restart button even though 
even though you don't doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be a restart button you can send a player to another world if you want um, but uh, for right now we're going to use call just call it restart button and then let's throw the UI under here and let's restart the game so that and, it, and I'll teach you how to make more worlds and um, I'll be able to do that in another video but for right now let's just loop back so um, let's go inside of our game or inside our main character and now we when we uh, um, are defeated the character is going to it's going to jump it's going to perform a menu jump and go to that win UI and then just to make sure that the damage isn't being calculated too too fast uh, one thing I like to do is I like to put a tiny delay uh, in between the damage so I'm gonna just throw this little delay in here and I'm gonna make the delay really small I'm just gonna be like 0.1 uh, seconds and then um, and then let's take a look at what we've got here uh, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too bad so let's press play okay let's use the arrow keys let's go around booyah there you go uh, so once you color 20 different squares then uh, then you automatically win and you can start the game over and the trick is the trick is so each time each time you touch one of the squares it does damage to the character right which damages its health okay so it brings the health down uh, further and further and further um, but you also don't want the floor like constantly damaging the character like you don't want the same piece of floor that you just colored you don't want it damaging the character again so every single time you touch the floor and you color and you um, make the color like you know change color you make the floor change color um, you want to immediately replace it with like a safe piece of flooring okay so that it's not going to so when you go over it again it's not going to cause more damage um, and then right now uh, there are still a few like little tiny things that you can do to improve this like every once in a while the cube will catch along the wall as you're trying to slide up and uh, there's an easy way to fix that you can either use a sphere um, uh, uh, shape or what I like to do is in, in Blender, I would like to like cut the like round the edges a little bit of the of the cube so that it's not like it's not clipping so much. It's it's able to scoot by um, the the walls. And here, let me show you real fast what I mean. So sometimes, oops, let's go ahead and exit out of the preview. Billbox is not happy. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so let me turn on the bug, debug mode and so you can see this. So every once in a while, you're trying, you go like to the side and it clips, it clips a little bit of this edge and it happens right here, okay? And the only thing I can say is that you, want, you do want that gap there, you do want that gap there, but um, you want to round the edges of the, of the collision shape so that it's not catching. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do another video to make this even more robust uh, and like a more advanced game. So look at, keep an eye out for that. But I thought I would just show you really quickly how to make, uh, how to start making a swipe puzzle game pretty easily. All right, thank you so much, boxers. I hope you enjoyed.